Good morning. Welcome to worship on this Sunday, the 5th of July. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're doing things a little differently today. So this is just an introduction video for uh, worship this morning. And we don't get a chance to do these things that we typically have been able to do over the month. So I wanted to pause before we get into anything else just to say congratulations to anyone who has had a birthday recently. Uh, always expecting a birthday soon. I'm sorry we can't give you a gift or anything, but may God bless you very especially on your birthday. And if you're celebrating a significant anniversary or the birth of a child or a grandchild, we praise God with you and may it be a special time for you guys. Um, the second thing I wanted to say this morning was, was we also don't get a chance to thank God for the offerings, for the generosity of God's people that we have been receiving. Um, it is true. I think it's important for me to let you know, and sometime I must put it in writing for you. But it is important to say that, of course, and it is true of so many church communities, in fact, most church communities, that our budget has, uh, has taken a whack through this time. And so I want to invite you today simply to continue to pray for our community. And we know that so many of you are giving so generously and so kindly, and we really are very grateful for it. Uh, but we continue just to pray about these things. God is the God of provision, and we put our faith and our trust in Him in these difficult days, knowing that so many others are also in a similar position. That being said, however, I also want to let you know that this faith community has given just in excess of a hundred thousand rand towards our distress fund since we initiated it at the beginning of lockdown, and that is an extraordinary effort. And we are so grateful, and so many people have benefited from your generosity. There's been clothing and food, and every week since we started this, uh, someone has received something from our community to feed the poor, and in some instances also to clothe and provide masks for them. So thank you so much for that. And I'm going to pause for a moment as we thank God for those offerings. And so we want to say thank you, Lord, that a faithful and generous God indeed is raising up and continues to raise up a faithful and generous people and we thank you for the great evidences of your faithfulness and your goodness and your generosity as evidenced in the lives of so many who continue to be faithful and good and generous. And so receive the gifts that are given and, uh, and may, you, may you bless them mightily, Lord, for your continued work in and through this community of faith at Newton Park. In Jesus' name, Amen. And then I also wanted to say that our intercession is different this week. Uh, we have tried, we've had a wonderful gift from folk in our community who have contributed and we will certainly go back to doing that in weeks to come. But we thought that instead of getting into too much of a rut and a habit, we wanted to uh, shake it up a bit. So for a couple of weeks, we've had some conversations. I uh, hope next week to have another conversation. This week, we simply are going to uh, put a song on the Facebook page. You might have already seen it. It's a wonderful Graham Kendrick song, and, uh, and we invite you to use that for your intercessions this morning. But while I speak about those things, I wanted to say, won't you particularly in your prayers, won't you remember the full impact of COVID, knowing that, that as this uh, virus hits our country more and more, that people's lives are being affected, and I'll talk about this in a moment, but not just economically, but people are really s suffering with ill health and there are health issues going on. Won't you please pray for people affected directly by COVID. And then we want to remember too, uh, we've seen statistics this past week about our dams, our dam levels being so low in the area, and we are easily distracted by all that's going on in 2020 to also then forget sometimes perhaps that we are in, a, in the midst of a significant drought. And as people of God, I want to encourage you to be cautious with water, uh, treat water as a sacred as a precious resource from God. And may we together, even as we ask God to break the drought, uh, may we together be uh, especially cautious with the gift of water. I also want to ask you to pray, if you would, uh, for, the, for the economy and to know that this is going to take, uh, they expect even years for a recovery. And we want to pray for all those whose, uh, whose livelihoods have been decimated and whose livelihoods uh, remain under threat because of a poor economy uh, that we are looking down the road at. And so people are unemployed and there's, and there's other struggles that come with it. Uh, we've seen on the streets around the church an increased level of need. Uh, and so won't you also join me and join us as a community in praying uh, for those affected by the economy. 
And then on the whole, can we recognize that the poor, as is almost always the case, the poor are those who suffer most significantly uh, when life goes pear-shaped. And so we want to lift those people before the Lord. So as you watch that video of Graham Kendricks, and just in your prayers, Lord, we offer these things and we say in your mercy, would you hear our prayer? Today, I'm delighted that my friend Gavin Cox is our guest speaker. Gavin and I are old army buddies. Uh, we, uh, we were chaplains, national service chaplains together in Potchefstroom. And, uh, and I, we kind of have connected a little bit as life has gone on, just touched places. And he now lives in East London with his wife Estelle. And, and we've, we've been able to have a little more contact uh, in, in recent years. And Gavin comes from a more Pentecostal background. So theologically we're different, personality-wise we're different. But there's something between us. It's a lovely, warm and good friendship. And I'm very grateful that he agreed to share some of his story with us today. I asked him to tell this part of his story, which he shares in our sermon, because I think that it's an issue, a struggle, that many within our pews uh, would also struggle with. I think you'll find some resonance in his story. And so even though he comes from a different tradition, I'm very glad and uh, grateful that Gavin joins us. So before we listen for the word, uh, let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God bless you this day. Take care.